My tattoo is basically all Samoan designs, um, half Samoan, so definitely uh, had to get that on there. It's definitely almost a, like a tradition for most of us these days. I just wanted all the d designs on my arm and had the artist freestyle it. I think it looks nice. And I had to put the SC right there. It's a touchdown, USA! And it is Trojan Town once again. They're going wild on the Trojan sideline and in the stand. The crowd roaring at the Coliseum. The USC Trojans are champions of the Pacific 12 Conference. Toa's got a special place in my heart because he's a coach's son like me. Uh, we grew up with a dad that uh, is an offensive line coach and a pretty darn good one. <laughs> so we both have O-line coaches for fathers and uh, I think that's one of the reasons he was so advanced. Yeah, growing up with a coach is definitely, I know I think almost from day one, you know, as soon as I can start moving around and it looks like I can lift the weight, it's all, it's, you know, it's pretty much all football. But he always asked me, you know, was he forcing this on me? You know, is this what I wanted to do? And I always told him, I enjoyed it and, and I fell in love with the game. Uh, I remember Toa coming to camp uh, and and him being tested at tackle, tested at guard. We even put him through center drills <laughs> at that point in time. And lo and behold, here he is, you know, getting ready to start his senior season and, and going to have a, a great opportunity to be a center. I started at left guard first. Uh, one of our guys got hurt. I stepped in at left tackle. And the next year I was at right guard, left guard, left tackle, and finally fell into center. And then I ended up getting hurt and went to left tackle last year, you know, the whole year. And this year I'm back at center. Receivers moving. And here comes Alabama with pressure. And down goes the quarterback. In the Alabama game, I think it was around the second series or right, right before, right at the end of the second series. Um, one of the guys had was sacking Max and just whipped around right into my knee, and I was blocking somebody, so I didn't see it was behind me, and it just you know I got hit. It was all right. I mean, it still hurt, but like I've always like played through pain, so I didn't think it was that bad. And I ended up playing the rest of the game on it. I don't know if there's been anybody that's gone through more adversity and handled it better than Toa. You know, you, you're talking about a, a kid that has had three knee surgeries and. Um, Never got down about it, just fought his way back um, and really took the approach, you, you know, things are going to happen in life, uh, but it's how I react to those things. Being on like the sideline and watching the guys just made me appreciate the game more and, and made me appreciate, you know, my teammates and watching them out there and every time I step on the practice field or the game field, it just, it just really brings out the appreciation of the game that it could be taken away at any time. Championships are won in the trenches, uh, O-line and D-line. And, um, you know, as we look at this early part of this season, the offensive line is going to be critical. One, to establish run game, to take pressure off uh, of a young quarterback, uh, but also to make sure that they keep that quarterback upright in the passing game. Um, it, they'll be the difference uh, between our early success in the season. And, uh, very thankful that Toa will be leading that bunch. This year, everybody's, you know, constantly asking us, you know, who's going to start a QB, and I just, you know, I don't have an answer for him yet, just wait till after camp, but I think it's kind of better, too, because um, not all the hype's on us, and it's not like we're terrible, too, we're like, you know, I think we're ranked, like, what, 15 or something like that, but just coming into to camp this year has definitely been, you know, uh, put a little chip on our shoulders just because, you know, they're not talking about us as much, and we've been working, working our butts off, and I think we got a lot of talent around us, and I think we're going to do good.